What is up guys, I Ashes here with another episode of FIFA Ultimate Team Road to Glory. I jump out and buy myself a new centre back, he's got pretty good pace, heading and defending stats for what I paid for him there. As I jump into my first game, this kit here I actually got out of a bronze pack, It's I looked on the market, it's worth like 1.5k to 2k, so I'm going to trade off for it onto my account my main account because I don't really want to use 1.5k coins that I've fluked out of a pack to use on my Red Glory really, I didn't really earn that coins as we do earn some coins there, 722 and I go into the au auction and buy myself a left back pretty good stats for a 60 rated player, don't know how he's rated 60 70 odd pay, 66 heading maybe and 63 defending so crazy stats these Americans as I do a bit of juggling about uh, a contract goes on Hernandez and Aka Ak Pro and a foot healing on Omri for all of them for 200 coins so 600 coins spent but in the long run it should work out um, this guy here passes out I really don't understand why people haven't learned not to do that by now if somebody passes you a ball out you're gonna put it away I'm not gonna purposely miss just because it was a cheap goal but at this stage I just wanna get as many coins as I can to bag myself some of the top players. And I'm really always getting on the score sheet. I'm going to show you at the end his stats so far. Absolutely insane, insane player. Really good. Um, really recommend him. This guy bags his second in the game. For a 63 centre attack mid, he actually played really well. And I, I thought he was one of the silver players, but no, he was actually really good. He gets a double for me, as does Omri with a pretty good finish goal. I don't know why finish goals are so powered. Like the amount of finish goals people score from outside the box are unreal. They just bend away and the keepers really do need to be improved on FIFA twelve. But anyway, I'm not gonna rant yet because my keeper chokes so bad in the next game. As I go and buy two new players, June Juninho, I think he's the one that used to play for Brazil and was really good at free kicks but his stats don't look that good for what he used to be and also get a centre defence midfielder 74 rated, he was the best one in the MLS so I picked him up um, he's got, he's pretty tall bit of an aerial threat from corners and really pleased with him to be fair back onto the gameplay now um, this is what I'm talking about, look at that straight through the keeper's hands I mean he's like cheerleading with his hands there Brad Friedel and like just it needs to be improved keepers world class keepers are not gonna let in shots straight down the middle of the goal and it wasn't even like a powerful shot it was just like finished so I was a bit annoyed with Brad Friedel I'm not gonna lie if he wasn't doing a road to glory he would have got discarded whoever he was for letting those in it's a joke sometimes but that's the way the game mechanic are and hopefully on FIFA 12 they've just cut out the things that aren't that good I'm not ranting about FIFA, I do love FIFA but it's just a bit frustrating sometimes even though I did score one like that but mine was in the corner and this was just straight down the middle and just like oh dear Brad what are you doing but I do win a free kick here, I don't know how I didn't really get fouled but I'll take it 35 yards, Omri's not really going to miss from there how many free kicks has he bagged me from there now guys I think he's on like 3 or 4 in about five games, something like that. Pretty crazy from that position, especially in swinging. Gets him really low, and the goalkeepers just aren't getting down that low. And he gets man of the match deservedly again. Absolute animal, this MLS team. Really would recommend building one. I haven't built one before, and they're just amazing. This guy here, unfortunately. He times out his Xbox freezes or something. He does send me a message saying, "Sorry, but my connection is rubbish." So unlucky to him. Whatever. I'll take the coins. Also, I'm not sure if my fitness goes back up because they didn't really like do much running, did they? Or they just stay the same or something. So swings and roundabouts for them. I go out and buy a right back. I should have got like a a shiny contract, which would have given me 12 instead of buying a new player. But I did want to get his fitness back up. I thought seven games will be enough, and then I should have a silver right back by then. And I do get myself a silver centre back on the cheap for 500 coins. Um, his stats are pretty good, 70 odd pace. He looks like a bit of a dominant force in the box. 
with a 442 was just a no brainer whether to bid on that guy. So, this is what the team is looking like at the end of the fourth episode. Almost a full silver team now. Well, not almost. <laughs> Still a few players to get and just some crazy stats. Henri's played nine games and scored 17 goals. So, big shout out to him. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace out.